I just have one question. How did this happen? Donnie Olish pointed to the new dramatic and imposing 80-foot-tall steel power poles just installed in front of his landmark farm stand in historic Eastport Village, claiming his tiny hamlet of 2,000 residents was blindsided by PSEG. They're massive poles, and we didn't need it in a small town. You know, no one was notified. The utility says this will help keep the lights on, necessary to upgrade service in hurricane-prone areas. 175 steel transmission poles going up from Riverhead to Eastport, seven miles, replacing shorter, thinner, aging wooden poles prone to storm damage. And steel poles have twice the circumference, about eight feet at the base, and are being strung with thicker cable, carrying crucial higher power capacity. I think they're really an eyesore, and it's very distracting. It's really made it look industrial, and um, I really don't think it's fair to our community. Absolutely rather see wood than steel. It's just so obtrusive. The poles are being installed adjacent to preserved lands in a quaint community, part of the reason for the not in my backyard sentiment here, though some agree they're needed. I don't see any issue at all. I think that it's, a, it's an upgrade. The other outfit didn't do anything. <laughs> you know? So this is PSEG keeping its pledge. Right. We made a commitment to our customers to have a safer, more reliable, more resilient electric system. PSEG is spending millions to relieve growing electrical demand out east. High voltage power cables to the Hamptons, wind power, storage batteries. Together, these projects will eventually add $3.67 per month to the typical ratepayer bill across Long Island. The town council's now interceding. The polls are totally out of character. I think it even shocked uh, the representatives from PSEG how out of character they are. Council members meet again with PSEG in two weeks, hoping for a resolution. That could even include burying the cables below the heart of the community. From Eastport, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And PSCG says it would cost seven to nine million dollars a mile to bury the 69,000 volt lines, about double the cost of using those poles.